Good day paint shoppers welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This tutorial will focus on how to make one of these things. This is an optical illusion. I know it as a devil's fork or a devil's tuning fork. You may have another name for it other than bloody impossible. Uh, but there it is. We're going to make one of these. It's kind of cool. It's easy to make with paint shop once you understand the procedure. And it's also easy to make with any kind of a vector based program or a digital editing program that has vectors included with it, like Photoshop for instance. Or you can use the uh, pure vector programs, Illustrator, and there's a uh, freebie called Inkscape, which is a really great vector program. You can use that as well. But we'll focus on how to do it with Paint Shop, and if you want to try it with the others, just adapt. Okay, so the Devil's Fork, how do you do it? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to have the guides available to you. The guides make life easy, and the guides are up here in the view menu. You've got guides, and you also want the rulers, so you go here and make rulers. And just to make life a lot easier, you want to have snap to guides turned on. So this is this particular finished product with all its guides on and the rulers. Now if I go to, you can see that there's other things you can do, uh, how useful these guides are. Like I was just fiddling around with this thing a couple days ago, and that's kind of neat. It's got lots of guides. Okay, so I'm going to make a new file. 3000 by 3000, white background. Okay, there we go. And you can see it's 3000 pixels wide by that tall, and I'm going to start dragging some guides out. And let's see, we'll go to the first one. We're going to make it 800. Now, you can use any size you want, but uh, it's... It's easy if you keep it consistent when you're doing this. Okay, there's my first guide. And there's my second guide right there. I want it as accurate as possible. Third guide. I think I have to go back and look at that first one, see if it's right. Fourth. And I'm making these every 200 pixels. So there's for the two arms. This is for the third arm. And this is for the other side of the third arm, okay? Now, if you want to change them, if you made a mistake, you just go up here, you grab it, and you move it around. You move it where you want it to be. I seem to have lost that one, so I'm going to come and get a new one. You have any number of guides you want. Okay, there. So these are the verticals, and you can see over here, those are the verticals as well. So that's what we're doing there. Now, we're going to use to make the tops of each arm the ellipse tool. It's right here. Keyboard shortcut is Q. And when you select it, you get all these options up here. You want to choose the ellipse. You want the line to be just a straight line. And you want the width to be about five or six pixels. I'm making mine six. You can make yours whatever you want. Over here, we've got these colors. And if I switch, to, well, you know, I can switch them around. What you want is to have black and transparent. So with a vector tool, black and transparent gives you a black outline with a transparent inside. And that makes life easy because you can put things on top of each other. So this isn't going to work. So what I'm going to do is hit here to get my default black and white colors. And then because I've got a vector tool set, if I click here, it'll make the background transparent. So now everything's set up the way it needs to be. So let's get started with this. I'm going to set my cursor right here. And I'm going to draw that first ellipse. And you see how it snapped to that guy right here? Now I'm going to accept that up here and the actions. And it's all done. Now what I want to do is make a couple copies of this. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to right click on this. Duplicate. I'm going to grab the pick tool. Go right in the middle. See how that little four arrows come along? And I'm going to just drag that over. And uh, I'm going to do one other thing here. I'm going to drag the uh, guides down, a horizontal guide, because I, I need that. And this one is off, so I'm going to go to the pick. There it is. Okay, so now it's right. Now we're going to go back over to here, copy of vector 1, and duplicate it one more time. And drag it over. And as long as it stays on that guide, it's going to be perfect. 
Okay, now let's turn that off and see if it's right. I didn't think it was exactly on, so I'm going to go up here and move it a bit more. There, I think that's right. Let's see. Yes, it is. So these three are in perfect alignment. And what I'm going to do, because they are, I'm going to merge all these layers down. Here, merge. Oh, you can't see it on the screen, so I'll, I'll do it up here. Layer, merge, down, layer, merge, down. Okay, so there's my three vectors right here. Okay, so the next thing is to start drawing, deciding how tall this beast is going to be. And I'm just going to drag a, a guide down here. And I need three of them. So I'm going to put one right here. That's about uh, 1,800 pixels. I'm going to put another one at 2,000. And another one at 2,200. Okay, so now we've got all our guides set and we're ready to rock with that. Now the next thing is to choose the pen tool because the pen tools are going to draw the lines. So we're going to click the pen tool right here and look at the uh, uh, the option up here. Now I've got this set as for draw lines and polylines. It has the straight thing here and this is 14 pixels. We don't want that. Uh, let's check and see what we had our pixel set for the ellipse tool. It was 6 pixels. So we'll go back to the pen tool. There we go. And we're going to make this into six at, at 6 pixels. There we go. So now it'll be the same size. It's not going to look goofy with one being fat and the other one's being thin. Okay, so now we're going to start right here with this guy here. Come on down to there, 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 and up and around and just work our way through this thing till it's all done. So let's get started. I got my Cintiq here. That's what I'm doing this with today. And it's uh, it makes life a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm getting here right on the line, drawing this down. And it's coming down to the second one right there. Click on the Apply button. Go here. Right to there. Click the Apply button. That one looks a bit off. I'll check that later. Here. Apply. And you see it's just a, a simple workaround now. Up there. And Apply. Now this one here is going to come down to there and apply that. Now this guy here is going to go up in an angle. You can see this one is the same angle as that guy there. Is that line? Okay, there. Oh, that, didn't, that snapped to the wrong place. So we're going to undo that one and do it again. There. Okay. So maybe I'll start right here. There we go. Okay. And we'll come up here. I think I forgot to apply that one. So we'll apply two of them at the same time. Okay. This guy goes across here. And apply that. Now this one comes from here straight down to there. Apply it. And this one goes across here. Apply that. And it looks like there's just one left to do, right? And we've got this here. And it's going to go all the way down to the bottom. And apply that. Okay, so let's take off these guides just by going to View Menu. Take off the guides and see what we got. There we got it. It looks kind of cool. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, and uh, that's all you really need to do to make one of these things. You can make the lines as thick or as thin as you want, and you can see over here it's all on one layer. That's it right there, so you can move it around. Uh, you can do what you want with it. You can get rid of the background and just save it as a PNG, which will always give you the transparency in behind it. So I hope you can find this, I hope you found this interesting and uh, unusual for sure. Uh, give it a try. It's fun to do and you can make some really cool things. You could probably add this to somebody as a tattoo. If you want to be uh, creative, you can uh, select all the black and make the background a different color and make the foreground, the lines a different color and you've got all kinds of things. But you cannot fill this in because it's not fill-inable. 
because um, really this, this right here, if you follow around, it comes around here, and it goes all the way up here. That's all one contiguous spot. And so it's, it's because it's an impossible figure, and optical illusion, that's the way it is. Okay, so I hope you found this interesting and useful, so give it a try. It really is fun to do, and it looks cool, okay? So thanks for watching. I do appreciate your time. Take care and have a great day.